welcome to another video of ClickView training by Bharti DW Consultancy. In this video, we are going to talk about security, how to implement security in ClickView. Big organizations or any organization take takes the security very seriously because it has data very critical to business so let's see how to implement security in in click view click on edit script and to open up the script editor then to file and hit create hidden script ask for the password because you want to secure the hidden script. I'll give any password and it opens up hidden script. Please remember that the hidden script is only accessible by putting in a password. Also, this would be the first script which will execute or first set of command statements and would you would try to reload the data let's do that so at this point in time i'm gonna load an inline statement for creating security profile this is access restriction table wizard it says basic your access or basic nt you can have user tool which i'm gonna show you or you can also connect to Windows NT security. So I click on the basic user setting and it says user ID and password. I can type admin as access. So there are two kinds of access level admin access and user access. I will say user ID is BDCS, Bharti DW Consultancy Services, and the password is also. BDCS user ID John password and then I'll have another user and and password Click on OK, you would see an inline table getting loaded. Once you have done that, you can save it and close the script. And reload. Once you reload, it's not done yet. Please note that the hidden statement or the or the security table would not be available in table viewer. Now back to settings, document properties, and you have to set a few things on a couple of tabs. So the first one is opening. And the second one is security. I'll show it to you again. So once you have created the inline table in the hidden script, you click on reload so that it understands the hidden script. And then go to settings. Click on dark properties. Go to the opening sheet tab and click on initial data reduction based on section access. So remember the table which we have created earlier is section access table and then prohibit binary load. That means unless and until you have user ID set up, you cannot load that QBW file as as a simple um, you know binary loading 
in the include function. Go to the security. The first thing you want to do is click on admin override security. This would ensure that an admin would have unrestricted access to this worksheet. Next, you can limit what a user would be able to do. So the user should not be able to add sheet or add script or reload or do a partial reload. He also should not be able to edit module, save document, access document properties. We don't want him to access it. Do not promote and demo sheet. Let him export whatever he wants to. And show all sheets and objects. And do show the progress for hidden bar. And then click on apply and click on OK. Once we have done that, click on reload once and close the sheet. Close the QEW sheet. If try open again, you would see the file it will ask you to enter your user ID and password. I'm going to enter BDCS and load it. Let me try John. So I go here, go to file and load. You can go to John. And this is how John would see his tab. But please note that there is no reload functionality available. He can go to the he can't go to the document properties. He just can play around with it. He cannot create a sheet. He cannot promote or demote a sheet. He can obviously look at the sheet properties, but that's all. In the second set of the video, we will discuss how to implement data level security. Uh, that means access access profiles based on country or any other column or dimension and uh, different users will have their different profiles. For example, uh, an Indian user would not be able to see any other country's data other than India. Same is the case for US and UK. Keep watching. Thank you. Have a nice day.